Hello everyone! This is uh, Red Riding Hood. Going for the full uh, walkthrough of the Siofria River. I cannot pronounce the name of this place. Siofria River, whatever this is. Anyhow, let's move on. We have this uh, last bit uh, of this place. I'm I think I remember having a sniper here, not allowing me to, to kill these three guys. So if we start getting sniped, uh, I will um, just uh, run for the beetle over there. Otherwise, we kill everyone. Yet again, uh, um, backsteps are your best friends in this place. The uh, sneaker you are the better in general. I... ah, sorry. Half an hour to, to pull out their axe. Alright. Um, so we're gonna go for the dumb button. I never tried this. What? Oh my god, on horseback is horrible. No, 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 please. Alright. Square up. I think this is a very good to break uh, stances. In particular, uh, it's used... Um, the broadsword has it, uh, and it's used uh, in the soul level 1's rounds. In some at least, but I see. So, Loretta Slash is okay. -ish. You really have to be precise with it. I may change it for something else. And the damage is nothing special. It happened. You see, I don't like, I'm not sure I like um, Loretta's uh, thingy. Let me check what I have available. I can use the spinning uh, weapon on this, right? Uh, the other one is this one. I'm not gonna use this. It's uh, boring. Alright, I'll keep the Loretta for the moment. I, I have to look more into it and I have a wall through to finish. <coughs> Sorry about my voice. There's something... Uh, I've been feeling sick last week and I still have... Some. How do you call it? Backlash? I was thinking about a goodie that I might, might have missed, but I didn't. Um, let's try again. That rat, I think he dropped the rune arc. It's funny, they, they really go for <laughs> Yo, these guys are... You know what they're doing? Never underestimate these guys. Archers, not archers, never underestimate. Alright. So, Runark? Runark. 
Rats, I think, are the only animals um, or only mobs that can actually drop it. Alright, we we can hear this dung beetle. The annoying dung beetle. Oh my god, that's the sniping knife nightmare I'm telling you. I was telling you. <coughs> I'm gonna run over here or die trying. Let's try to get to the end and then go backward. Driving me crazy. Oh no, no hyper armor there. Oh. You can tell that I'm not that familiar with this weapon. <coughs> you bugger. Steal damage. Holy cow. Screw you. There we go. Snipers should be over. There are still a couple of enemies. Don't roll backward. Great. Bury the punch. Alright. So, um, there should be only a couple of guys left uh, dancing over there um, with the rats behind, including a big rat and obviously the rats, the smaller rats. That's not a good start of our one episode. Let's uh, use this weapon and see how it, per how, how it performs. Wait, I can kill you first. No. Okay. Sweet. Yeah, this one is cool. This one is crazy. Very solid. Sight is good. Looks good, but the weapon art of this is not only. Badass it doesn't only look badass, it is actually very strong. Damage was good, the AoE was good, range was good. Alright, don't take me wrong, this should be the last one. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, it is. Sweet. Alright, we also got all the shinies uh, on, on the way there. We want to go there, actually. Should have done it before coming here, but first let's go grab. Did we unlock? Uh, there is a lost grace I should have touched. So we get a golden seed over here, and uh, I'm pretty sure there is a stone sword key over there. Consider that after this, we'll go to Kaelid, so we will uh, chew a bit through stone sword key. Jump? You cannot jump without the horse. But then get down your horse because it's very dangerous. There we go. And there is nothing over there. I can show you from here. There is nothing.
Mm, I remember a shine there, but I'll check on the way back. Here is a very neat place. Uh, there is nothing special, I think a rune arc. But I really like it. Like this. I wouldn't mind um, going you know, camping here. Good job, bro. bro. Was drinking. A couple of bottles of wine. Respect. With a nice view. Oh, lovely. A bit too humid, perhaps, but lovely. Alright, uh, we'll go back there. We open the... Um, let's say, we finish the, the puzzle to get to the boss of this area. Where is the Lost Grace? It's there. Sometimes they don't shine or anything. See? Not sure why. By the way, in the previous episode, the Blight was looking for that city over there. You can see it, you cannot get there. So after Radan, you can. My um, first very true on Twitch, uh, I draw uh, a couple of my viewers crazy. I spent so much time here looking for a way to get to no no Noxtella, I think it's called. And also there, it's much later game. Actually, we could get there. I will. Uh, I will just show you how. There is also another location over there, right in front of me. We could also get there, and it's uh, we with the um, Animbudden Sword. Um, what? Ah, oh, yeah, I, we need to put the stone sword keys. But I think we found two in this area, and then you use them here. Uh, let me think. Do I want to go upstairs? Let's go upstairs. We can play a little bit with fashion, I guess. Or at least check what we have. This elevator is long, but not as long. Then we will teleport. We we pop the the lost grace upstairs, and then we teleport. Um, here you go, we'll do it in a different episode. But if you go forward, you get the upgraded version of uh, the Arsenal Charm. It's like the big uh, Arsenal Charm. Uh, very good for strength builds, especially if you go to um, power stancing. So keep that in mind. I will, well, I will show it in a different episode. And then there is a bear, it's probably <laughs> the strongest bear in the game. Or something on those lines. Alright. Um, okay, like this we wrap up the whole area. I'm gonna go here. And we go to the uh, optional boss. I do not have to forget the bloody bow. It's not at the optional boss, it's at the main boss area. Or it's under its bridge. And uh, I always forget about it. Oh my god, that was close. Fractals! You're gonna get sniped a little bit. Drink. Don't be shy. Somber smithing stone, you take the teleport. Or any other teleport just puts you forward in this area. So, sort of useless. Here we are. Here is the hidden area. 
Here there will be the boss, but first we're gonna grab a couple of goodies, including a spell. It's the other spell they use. Actually, those are um, uh, one of the few spell that use arcane, I think. Int and arcane. I hear the dung beetle, but I'm quite sure it's inside this building. I love the big scaling that uh, Elden Ring and most of Souls games have. But Elden Ring really went uh, all over the chart. And there is the, um, the beetle. Go in the middle of everything. No, I hate you. Oh no. Oh no no no. Oh my god, I will have to go back for it. Numbers meeting stone. I will probably die for the boss. If I don't die for the boss, I will let myself uh Are you still there? No, I'm trolling me. I will let these guys kill me. What's this over there? Alright. And uh, I think I got all the goodies. Maybe there is another shiny over there, but it's a minor shiny. Let me double check here. I don't remember anything, but I uh, don't trust myself either. No. Well done. Yeah. Alright. So, we will find this boss, uh, I think, three times. Maybe one. One more that I don't remember. Uh, this is the easiest version. I want to test uh, how this w my, my sight performs against him. You cannot... Uh, um, cannot parry him, so not gonna bother. Uh, perhaps I use a little bit of magic. Let's pull just this uh, out. Alright. So, this boss, you cannot hit his body, but only his um, limbs and uh, the face, I guess. Alright, then I, I finally inflicted crossbite. Oh my god, there is a follow-up to that, okay. Now we will go sort of rage or demonic. Alright, this is the rage thing I was talking about. Okay, it didn't follow up with that, with another. Okay, get away. Another frostbite. Breathe. Okay. 
And he's dead. Alright. Let's talk about it uh, retrospectively. He has lots of uh, horizontal and vertical sweeps uh, with horizont horizontal uh, um, and vertical uh, follow ups. You just have to get the timing of those. Attacks you should uh, be um, aware of, uh, I kind of mentioned, it has this sort of charge um, that he didn't really, um, he didn't really go for a long one, but when he, he roars, just run away and then uh, um, this um, he puts his hand in the ground and he can follow up by pulling it out, that's almost one, one shot guarantee, guaranteed, so keep that in mind and um, get uh, behind his uh, feet. Guessing feet uh, is almost always uh, a guaranteed um, uh, safe uh, place. I actually I think it's always a guaranteed safe place. And uh, and uh, something else. Oh, yeah, when you hit him, try to hit him where he has no uh, um, armor. Uh, it looked to me yeah, I was doing a little bit more damage. The weapon wasn't performing too well and for some reasons bleed was not existing at all. I don't know if it's just too low of a build up or what. This is a, this should be the magical bow. Yeah, it's a magical longbow. We have already a magical crossbow. I don't know if I'm ever gonna use these weapons. I'm not a big fan of that. Maybe the bow a bit more than the crossbow. So yeah, that was the boss. I hope it was uh, helpful. Um, again, this gravesite didn't perform that well, so I had to kind of actually try. Should be one shiny. Or not? Okay, but uh, now that we activated all the mausoleums, we can go downstairs. Uh, sorry, in another dimension. Actually, I don't know where we are going. Let's check the map. Yeah, we are somewhere in the Eden. We didn't use the souls, the runes. So let's uh, hope for the best. And. Um, I use again the side, perhaps so maybe I will use the the axe this time. Yeah, why not? Let's use the axe. Yeah, let's drink this and um, wish me luck.
I truly love this fight. Wasn't clean uh, at all, as uh, honestly, I never really had issues. Last time I did it uh, in a preparatory playthrough, I perfected the guy, it was no hit. But um, yeah, I mean, just get the hang of the spacing, stay underneath when it does the stomp sort of attack uh, uh, on the earth, uh, get out, or get away, or roll in time. And it's pretty easy. Nothing much to say about it. It's only challenging my first time I came uh, uh, here because I was very low level. Very, very low level. I was doing quite low damage. And uh, running a, a strength build uh, with very heavy weapons, so also less experience. Anyway, with this, the Sophia Lake is over. Actually. I was thinking, as I am uh, doing the Siofra River thingy, let's actually um, use the Embuda Sword we got. Where did we get? Ah, yeah, in the Academy. And um, get uh, the Talisman that is over there. Alright, so we are here at the um, Four Belfries. We have been already in this one, it's the Chapel of Anticipation, and here we'll get back to the. Sofia River sing, sing. Siopra. Siopra. Oh my god. How do you pronounce that? Anyway, we travel. In Kaelid, we'll find the last uh, in Buddha's sword. I got wrecked a little bit by the giant out, out there, by the way. So we go here. There is that guy. For a long time, uh, in my first playthrough, I thought it was Blight. He's not. Is our beloved Crucible Knight waiting for us? Let me check my trinkets. When we got to the Mar Marika Scare Seal, it gives us plus three in int, fate. Intelligence and Arcane. Unfortunately, it's not as good as the Radagon seal because we don't care about Fate and Arcane. But um, Int and Mind um, is 6 levels there, right? More damage. No. So, take into consideration. For the moment, I'm going to stick like this. Alright, we're gonna go parrying mode. And wish me luck. I have still all the rooms there. We grab this. We cannot backstep these guys. Keep that in mind. I don't even think we, we can um, sneak on the guy. This is um, um, a talisman. I think it, it increases robustness, vitality and stuff. Not that I care. Alright. Nice one. Forgot to drink my flask. Nice one, okay. Nice. Very clean battle here. The greed, that was only greed. And a bit of panic as well. So why I don't fight one of those? Although, like last time I was actually in Limgrave and the fight was amazing. No, I have to go all the way there. Well, I'm gonna see you there.
He's chasing me, guys. No. I went to get the souls first. Holy cow. All right, let's go for it. This time we drink first. Come on, buddy. You're gonna get what you deserve. No. I think he's gonna go in phase 2 now. Oh! Really surprised me and um, I agree that big time. Alright, phase 2. I always like to roll back, but to be honest. What? Well, didn't expect that, to be honest. Scambag. There you go. And with this, we we finish the walkthrough. All right. Bye bye, guys. See you in the next one.